Hey guys and welcome back to Landstriders Futures Edge Server, graciously sponsored by aim to game Servers and we are in a secret little cave down here. This is of course the beginnings of my secret Santa entry gift. I'm not sure what we're going to call it here, but this is my idea. Yes, it's beginning to form. We are going to make a grotto, but not just any grotto. Oh, no, no, no. This is Santa's special grotto. And what do we do with Santa's special grotto? Well, for those of you capable of double entendre, we fill it with ho, ho, ho's. So, I've been having a few ideas about what we're going to do here. Obviously, we're going to have a little pool at the bottom to lounge around in. I'm thinking maybe some sort of area over here where we can have, like, deck chairs down, a small little Christmas display in the background, tinsel and spruce leaves everywhere. Of course, a grotto would not be complete without a bar. I'm not sure about the stylings on this one at the moment. I'm kind of liking the green. The wood doesn't really fit the theme so much, but, you know, how do you do Christmassy? half deck and logs so this is the beginnings of what i think it's gonna look like i've gone around and i've put a little bit of color on places still not sure about the wood here but mainly what i've been doing is breeding up villagers oh man lots and lots of villagers about an evening has gone by where i've um i've gone and stolen some villagers from the person who's uh secret santa we're making here i'm not sure when i'm gonna share with you who it is probably a little bit later in this episode so we'll be going around trying to breed up babies these uh, this is a little bit weird i'll be honest i didn't quite get it when i first started so uh down here oh what have you done why have you fallen in here so down here are a whole load of doors that i've made but they are completely inconsequential to the actual breeding process uh, i'm just going to cap that so no one else falls in there and i'm sure she will sort herself out at night what you actually need to do is give them cake of all things so no she's still she's still got it so you've got to find the the partners so if you if you have a talk to her uh, she's married to otto the first thing you need to do is give the boy some cake or the book the the husband some cake and then that's it you never need to give him cake again because he likes you now and that's good enough this guy over uh, this girl over here you need to give her a cake every time the baby goes from being in her hand to running around like a child out here so oh oh people are unhappy someone has died this happens a lot and i'm not sure where i keep trying to spot how they die um oh i bet it was this one down here I bet it just grew up and its head got crushed. Oh, lag spike much. Oh, that was very weird. Let's let's get down there and have a look. Yep. Whoops. Uh, well, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. So, other things that I'm thinking about. This entrance cave, I think we're going to have a nice little ice area. And out here... I've put a little, almost spoiler wall up. Well, at the moment, it is a spoiler wall. But it's going to end up being the wrapping... Spoilers for where we are, by the way. Um, yeah, so this this is the wrapping of the present. You can then come on through, I presume by breaking the present. And we'll make this a nice little entranceway here. Ice cave? It, it's kind of got to be a must, hasn't it? Um, we're going to have icicles hanging down, snow on the floor. Talking of snow on the floor, let me grab this pumpkin. You might note that I have no snow on me at this point in time but if we come down here and just kind of right click my flight ring it start, starts spreading cold everywhere which is crazy i'm not sure exactly why it does that but it does give me op uh, access to two things two things that i want to point out to you anyway first i can mine the ice that is made here with my silk touch pick and get myself some ice blocks back which is amazing that's going to help the decoration no end but the other thing i wanted to show you was that my my normal uh, digging pickaxe here with the spoon enchantment i point out so it should work like a shovel can't collect oh dear it's too fast can't collect snowballs which uh i'm gonna have to work around here i think i'm probably gonna do it with some cobble actually let's go up and grab some oh will it be in here actually Okay, a small shovel should give us enough snowballs to be able to make a snow golem. From there, we can, of course, make ourselves a snow machine. But I think I'm just going to let him run around, to be honest. Uh, uh, which one of my backpacks, my many, many backpacks, has grabbed it this time. Uh, I may, might, might have to drop some of these backpacks because they are kind of getting in the way now that I've kind of dug out the entire space. But let's make ourselves a friend here. I think we're going to go boom. 
Awesome, Snow Golem. Now, I think I'd like to name this one uh, and possibly put a pole up somewhere to tie it to. Because, you know, that'll look good. A nice little raised podium over here with the Snow Golem spinning around it for, you know, aesthetic reasons. Uh, we're going to take my, snow, my, my pick. I'm going to harvest myself a whole load of ice. And I'll bring you and show you what I think is going to go on with that cave. All in all, I'm super happy about how this entrance cave came out. I just kind of went around and laboriously placed all these snow blocks down, the ice up top. I kind of like the icicle effect that I've got on the go here. The reason I laboriously placed all of those down is because I forgot that the uh, swapping wand was actually a thing. That was until I got down this way. So I put in a candy cane walkway. I think this looks pretty good. These are the anti-blocks. You guys would have seen that I've been using these a lot in my build. I kind of really like them. And in here, there's where I remembered that the swapping wand was a thing. So I went absolutely to town, but putting uh, snow everywhere, chopping up the ice, getting things done. This here, space for a build that we're going to do in a second, but I want to show you my um, captured snow golem. I've been breaking the glass here and breaking the snow underneath his feet to make sure I get an infinite amount. But right here, I want to put down a little decorational build. Now, obviously, this is Santa's grotto, and the thing that is missing from here is Santa. So I think we're going to come along and just, I'm going to start... Here. We're going to start here. Does that look central? Let's, let's go and look at the other side and see if this looks anywhere near central. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Now, this is going to look a little weird, but I actually wanted to put that one block higher, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that one block higher. Let's knock this out. We're going to um, not excavate him from the wall, but we're going to release Santa from the from the rock that we see here. So I've done that. I think we're going to go on to this white stuff now. Maybe if we have a look in my mining pack pack, I'm going to have a few other things that I want. You can see my inventory is absolutely rammed with stuff here. This is just kind of planning out things, trying to get things right. So here, uh, let's knock out a little bit more wool. I think we're going to need to knock out a lot of wool, actually. Okay, taking a step back. Yeah, I kind of like the look that we got going on here. So let's start putting down some flesh, shall we? I think it's going to go there. Yeah, very much. Okay, so those of you who can't quite see where I'm going with this, this is a nose. Yeah, it is indeed. There's a nose there. And we're going to put some lapis blocks because, of course, Santa has blue eyes. I mean, I know that's uh, verging on racist there. But, of course, Santa would have blue eyes. Now, I should have my woven backpack here. This is going to have a couple of buttons inside it. And already, you can see a sort of face is taking shape. Now, it's a, a little bit all nosy at the moment. So, let's try and put some extra shape to this, shall we? I think we're probably going to go up here. Um, and, there, yeah, let's take this out as well. Okay, I think we're going to stop with the fleshy shapes at the moment. And let's, uh, let's start putting in some of this stuff. This is, of course, going to be his monumental beard. Because if there's one thing... Oh, sorry about that. I am super, super ill today. So the one thing that we all know about Santa is he has the bushiest beard. So we've got to try and represent that somehow. And I'm going to use white wool for this. Uh, I feel it's probably the most accurate representation it'd be not maybe if we had a little bit of cobweb we could have done something a little bit nicer you're gonna have to move Rene I'm sorry you're really gonna have to get out of the way here building processes are far more important than villagers walking around here when I was hollowing out this space, I really under... Oh, look how good he's going on already I really underestimated the amount of room he would need especially up and down Okay, so let's try putting uh, a hairline on him. I think a hairline would be quite nice here. We don't have to be too exact because obviously hair grows in sort of random ways. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping I could do all this in one cut, but the amount of coughing that I have done today has kind of dictated that that is not going to be a thing. I do apologise. I thought it would be nice for us to actually go through the whole building process together. But we're going to... I'm sure you guys will be all right. I'm sure you'll go, you guys fully understand that illnesses do happen, especially in this cold time of year. Okay, so we're starting to get there. I need to try and bring this stuff around the outside. So let's clear a little bit more room. If I stand on his 
beard here. I should get a better mining speed. Yeah, there we go. That's what it's about. All right, it's a good start. It's a good start. I think we need some more beard coming out this way. Uh, maybe we should dig some into the floor. What do you think? Should we try and merge his beard with the snow layers down here? So it's kind of like we're almost walking on the beard. I don't like these bits over here. Let's get rid of these and take a little step back and see what we've got. Uh, it's already a good start. It's already an amazing start. I'd kind of like to throw some blocks down this way. Just kind of bulk out his beard a little bit. Okay, that's a great start. In fact, that is one of the best starts I've ever done. There's a few finishing touches we could definitely do here. Um, let's put... No, not that there. We want to put this one here and this one here. And then if we take... Our little bit of wool here. I think I'm going to make this many carpets. I don't quite need this many, but we can do this. And then you get, oh yeah, perfect little eyebrows there. Now, of course, we need to make his hat next. But I forgot to bring any redstone with me. All right, guys. Well, I've all but finished all my final touches and everything I want to do. But I was told that maybe there's a small surprise waiting for me back at, oh, back at home. Look at this. Oh, wow. What is this? It's an advent wreath. Okay, we've got some uh, Christmas tree. Many, many advent wreaths. Look at the detail on these. I also like the uh, the black outline on the go here. Uh, Janine is guarding my presents for me. Look at this. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, oh, look, there is a box here. What have we got? Oh, wow. Screen, screen controller, elevator, the RF tools manuals. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is really going to give me a good go. Oh, look, milk and cookies as well. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's awesome. That is really awesome. Um, I suppose traditionally I'm supposed to guess who this is from now. The thing is, until just a moment ago, there was only two people on the server all day. So um, I have my suspicions, but I'm going to keep them to myself at the moment. <laughs> but, of course... Thank you very much, Secret Santa. Ha, <laughs> I miss this little Santa dude. Look at him. Oh, he's cool. I may have been too hasty in getting excited about this Christmas tree down here. I have a couple of things to show you. First up here, have you guys seen, like, the reindeer and the sleigh? Wow. So this is from DecoCraft. I... I when I came up here and saw this, I was absolutely flabbergasted. But then I'd noticed some other things had been happening around my base. Like, uh, look at this bar up here. That's a player center, sensor. sorry, And that opens and closes my door. And then I noticed over here, a button had been uh, taken away. Uh, so obviously another player sensor had been set up. And then we've got a Merry Christmas from Santa. And this is just, like, amazingly useful stuff. All the item conduits and, and energy conduits I could need. Like, you guys know I am constantly running out of this stuff. We've got a painting machine so I can make everything look good, including, I believe, changing the look of my armor. So we're going to have to try and figure out how that works, but that's going to be another episode, obviously. And the conduit facade so I can make everything look like any block that I like. Amazing. And <laughs> glowstone. Who doesn't want glowstone, hey? So, I know I've already said it once. Thank you, Santa. Thank you. Okay, I do believe, people, the time has come... Oh, I'm not flying. The time has come for the great reveal. Did that sheep just try and kill itself? No, it must be a water effect. I am, of course, building this secret Santa for the mythical sausage over here, living with Dizzy Aaron, but the name said mythical sausage, so it is very much for him. Right, if gravity will allow me to drop down here quick, we'll do a final tour of this place before I wrap up this episode. So, texture pack very much a part of what goes on here. Gonna teleport in. First off, we've got Welcome to Santa's Grotto. It's just a nice little welcome area. You guys have seen this. Nice icicles everywhere. I thought I'd leave the charging station here because it's just nice to come in and grab a little, a little bit of power when you need to. I mean, if that's not the spirit of giving, I don't know what is. Uh, we've got some free range eggs. Well, not free range eggs. Let, let me back up a little bit there. We've got some free eggs here. Not technically part of the gift, but it's so useful, I thought I'd leave it. Okay, now on to the main part. We've got the girls standing around and waiting here. So we can come down and have a look at the little grotto area 
itself. Now, of course, the big guy over here, we've got Santa. He's got a little tree next to him. A lounge area where you can come and chat with the girls and chill out and just have a good time. Watch the uh, the snow golem do whatever it is he does over there. You can take a dive in the pool, have a swim around. I was considering making it a little bit deeper, but that just... It doesn't seem right for this area. This is not like a swimming place. It's where you splash and frolic around and stuff like that. There is a little hot tub area up here. I, if I had, ta had time, I would have taken out all the, the uh, marble here, put in some glass and put some lava underneath. Classic hot tub action there. Over in this corner, we've got ourselves a little DJ booth with, complete with crossfader. That, that's a touch of realism there that you will not find in most people's builds. And at the back, we have the bar manned by Ruby. And if we come inside, we've got the Red Rudolph and the Christmas Spirit to be purchased. So all in all... I'm really chuffed with what I've done here, actually. I thought this was just going to be a short little project. Three days later, we've got this massive expanse of excellence. Uh, yeah, and I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this helmet-covered adventure. That's that's not what we want. Let's get that off there. This secret santering adventure. I will see you next time, guys, where we're going to uh, explore all the things that have been given to us by our secret Santa. <coughs> thank you, Landstrider. And uh, we will uh, endeavour to do great things next time. Bye! I don't like that sword slashing. <laughs> Just as we think we're done, I'm finding more stuff. This secret Santa is the Santa that keeps on giving. And I've got to say, I'm not so sure that it's Landstrider anymore because presents just keep on multiplying. This is the Eternalist fuel. I assume to go into my Sterling generator here. Anyway, bye!